Well, in a union, pay your dues, but does that mean not saying a peep when you don't like how that union is spending your dues? That is what the House Oversight Committee was looking into today, questioning the more than one billion bucks union spent back in 2010 on everything from campaign ads to lobbying activities and whether any of it infringed on the wishes or even the basic rights of union workers themselves. So the guy who says enough, and he's a union guy. With me now, Terry Bowman. He's with the United Auto Workers Union, testified on Capitol Hill today. Um, you're arguing what, Terry, that this goes beyond unions' right to exercise their political point of view? Well, that's correct, Neil. And uh, first of all, thank you for having me on. Uh, but that's exactly right. Uh, unions abuse their political spending by using my union dues that I have no desire to go to these political parties or these issues that they're spending their money on. And I have to do those. I have to pay those dues as a condition of employment. And uh, it's, it's about time that myself and other union workers who do not agree with our union officials that uh, our union dues are stopped being used for political purposes. What kind of reaction do you get within your union when you say that? Kind of well, um, believe it or not, I get more support than not. Uh, of course, there are the dissenters of what I actually fight for, and uh, they can be quite vocal. However, I am finding uh, more support out there for my position uh, and my group, I formed a group called Union Conservatives, um, then really that there's dissenters out there. So I, I think there's a growing movement of not only conservatism, but even uh, Democrats are believing that uh, the union officials don't have the right to use our union dues for all of these uh, far left political activity. So when they come back at you, Terry, and say, well, we're doing this for your own good, we're advancing your issues, we're, we're helping you to secure your job, to secure your needs, and without this, you'd, you'd be in deep doo-doo. What do you say? Well, it's a subjective comment. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily that they're telling the truth. It is their belief. And uh, I think there's room for my belief as well that uh, the only way that unions are really going to advance in the United States is to really adhere to conservative principles, which is limited government, personal responsibility. And uh, the, the uh, realization uh, that corporations exist to earn a profit. So if they start embracing conservative values, I think there is a place for unions and they can continue in the United States, but not with the far left liberal activism that they're doing now. Union membership is way down and it has been for a long time. So something needs to change. All right, Terry, thank you very much. Good seeing you. You're welcome, Neil. Terry Bowman. Or will you Google the word trust and you